it's always surprised me of how many businesses, even though they view people as assets, but the reality is, is maybe the truck or the trucks or you know the uh, software or these things are the actual at the real estate are the actual assets of the business and they tend to give more care and awareness to those than the people themselves but the business wouldn't exist without the people value wouldn't exist without the people yeah so i, I don't it doesn't even make sense to approach business in that way yeah i agree and in truth, you know, we have all of these, and I, I do desire to give organizations who have implemented this approach mm -hmm. a huge, like, hats off to you, yeah. where they are proactively implementing self-care approaches to health, mm -hmm. right? Where if you have a gym membership, They'll reward you for that. And if you work out. And so all of these things for preventive health measures instead of reactive health measures. That's a wonderful thing. But if you truly desire to have a preventive health measure in place, infuse love. Be a love-based leader mm -hmm. and create a love-based culture in your work environment because love reduces stress. And when you reduce stress in a work environment and you create a work environment that people are excited and proud to take part in, then health improves. And we, again, seem to miss that step. If it's great that you have other things that you're implementing where you reward working out or having gym memberships and all of the other things. But let's get one more step ahead and let's create positive work cultures where people feel connected to one another and uplift one another and see the humanity in one another. And at that point, all the next step, which is what we have in place, will be elevated even more because the, that connected community will encourage each other to work out together, mm. to meditate together to take breaks together and go play on the pool tables or whatever game room you might have. But if you have all those systems in place and nobody's utilizing them because they don't feel drawn together and they don't really know why they're there. And again, I worked in an environment where we had all those fun things, but really they never got used because people, they just didn't peel themselves out of their offices long enough to go use them. Or you know, maybe they felt like if they did, then they'd actually be reprimanded for it. Yes. And so, again, love, that's why love is such an ultimate leadership skill. Yeah. When you start to recognize, like, look, we just want to be, we're pack animals. Like it or not, we're pack animals. We want to be bonded together. But that has to come from the leadership quality of the individual who's leading whatever that initiative is. Mm -hmm.